If you're someone who takes a lot of notes, whether they be in lectures or in meetings, but you're tired of the hassle of having to write everything out either by hand or typing it out on a keyboard, then this simple speech to text app made by Google for the smartphone is just for you. Hey, what up? It's your boy Mob Justice back again with another video. And for today, we are getting into an app called Google Recorder. Uh, this is a basic recording app, but it's got some great technology, especially when it comes to speech to text. Uh, that is the ability for the machine uh, to be able to write things out for you instead of you having to manually do it. As always, this uh, video is brought to you by the team over at Lion Media. Uh, head on over to check out some of the crispiest uh, photo, video, and audio content. That's www.lionmedia.com. Head on over, uh, check it out, and just see uh, what the team can do for you. As I said at the beginning, today we will be reviewing the Google Recorder app. Now, in this day and age, um, smartphones come with uh, voice recording apps dime a dozen and they're pretty much standard on you know mobile devices you know as you get them you know in the box but the thing i like about this specific one is that it's made by google and it's specifically for their pixel line of phones and uh, if you go and actually search for it you won't find it but the beauty of android is the fact that at least we can get an apk for the app that's how i got it um onto my samsung and uh, the best thing about it is that because of of um, you know Google's speech recognition and all of that um, in my testing it's proved to be uh, the most accurate speech to text app that I use. The app itself has two main benefits. The first one is uh, the ability for dictation. So that ability as you are talking uh, to be able to you know speech to text. So instead of you typing out something you can literally uh, just speak to the device and it will recognize what you're saying and put that down as text saving you you know that whole thing of typing things out the second uh, scenario is if you sit in meetings maybe you sit in lectures uh, then it's probably something good if you want to record a whole thing but you want something to be transcribed so people that usually do deal with transcriptions and stuff like that this will be probably great uh, for that particular use case as some of you may know I am actually a business writer and uh, I sit in a lot of interviews I sit in a lot of meetings and there's a lot of times where you have to pull out quotes or at least go and get some context and have uh, transcriptions of some sort that are written down and I've actually found that the Google recording app um, is the most accurate um, you know for what I do and I can imagine that you know for students that are doing lectures uh, maybe researchers that have to conduct um, a lot of surveys and interviews this will be uh, probably a good application to have on hand. So now we're just going to get into the actual app just to show you guys how it works. I'm going to be using, you know, this, this is a Samsung. And then if I go over to my Google folder, you'll see I have a lot of Google apps and then you swipe over. You see it's the one that's got uh, the red icon written recorder here. You click that and you see it's a very basic interface. You've got your list of, you know, recordings that I've done in the past um, that are there. And then, um, so what happens is that you just click uh, the red record button at the bottom. And then you see that there's a space where it says audio and transcript. If I click where it says transcript, you'll see that it is recognizing what I am saying in real time right now. And you see that it's a really great feature. Um, and that's basically how this thing works. So if I then stop it, you can just click, you know, to add title, we'll just call it, uh, we'll just say that this is mobs test one, and then you're done. You know you save the recording and what it then means is that you've got your list there so what it allows is that you know if you go into any one of the recordings um you can just click let me just click the second one you just click on transcript and you'll see that you know the the transcript is there together with the audio and then what it then allows you to do is that you can just click 
you know and have your different options whether you want to rename the thing but sharing you know go to your computer stuff like that and if you say you want to share you know it gives you the ability to share either just the audio file the text file or you know both the audio and the text now as great as the google recorder app is there are a couple of limitations that i found you know through my own usage and testing the first one is that you really need to have a clear audio source when you are trying to get it um, to listen, to transcribe and to put down the words. I've noticed that, you know, if you have a bad quality recording, uh, most of the time it won't be able to really pick out the words or it will get certain words wrong. In certain cases, if the audio is bad, you'll see it skipping entire, entire it will just maybe pick out one or two words and then there'll be nothing, then, you know, it will be spotty. So really really clear audio you saw the way that i was talking so if you're here and it can see in here then it's good uh but if you have like another source let's say you you're playing something off of uh, a voice recorder and you want it to transcribe you really need to make sure uh, that the audio that's coming out from there is clear the second bit is around accents uh, google has a really vast um, database i'm sure of different voices because of google assistant all of that which has helped the system to be as good as it is but in certain cases if you don't pronounce certain words you know very well it might think and i've actually noticed Noticed that um, you know certain interviews that I'm in uh, that it struggles in certain cases because people have different cadences in the way they speak, different accents, etc. So that's always something um, to think about when you're using you know something like this. Related to the issue of accents is, you know, certain turns of phrases and certain ways in which people pronounce things, whether it's American English, British English, Southern African English, all of those things, they're different ways that people, you know, phrase and um, phrase something. And uh, one example I can give is that uh, you might have a word that says, uh, let's say the word capsule. Um, if you pronounce it in a certain way, it might think you said the word cap and stool, right? Just, you know, as an example of what I'm talking about. So the pro tip, you know, because of the limitations I've just pointed out is that once you have a recording, you've got your transcript, you've got your speech, um, usually it's best to then play back uh, the audio just to check that it got um, you know the words correct especially if it's something where you require a completely accurate transcript to be there it'll probably save you a lot of time because you're not having to type you're literally just checking uh, that the machine was able to get the words correct now whilst we're here talking about the google recorder it's certainly not the only uh, voice recorder app that's out there we've already mentioned the fact that um, you know many smartphones now come with a stock um, app of some sort Many of those stock apps actually have that ability to uh, to do speech to text. I will use the example, you know, over on the Samsung. And if you use the stock Samsung voice recording app, if we go into it here, the one that's written voice recorder, and you see that literally at the top, you've got standard interview and speech to text. You press the record button and you should be able to start transcribing um, whatever is being, you know, whatever is being said to you. And then the other one, not necessarily uh, something that's going to transcribe for you. But I do remember a couple of weeks ago, we did speak about uh, the Google keyboard and the Google keyboard has, you know, quite a cool speech to text. System. So that's more about not having to type and rather having uh, the machine type something out for you. If you have an iPhone, you can actually use uh, the Notes app uh, to do something like this, not necessarily uh, the voice recorder app. So if we go into um, if we go into the notes here, you just start this and then you go into starting a note. So as you can see, if we start a note like this, if you click at the bottom here, you see the mic uh, icon that's there and you can start the dictation and also use it to also write what you want to do as you can see siri is trying to figure out what is going on yeah now one of the biggest disadvantages you know for both the stock samsung recording app and the stock uh, notes app on iphone is the fact that they both need uh, to be connected for them to do the speech to text thing uh, so if i came here you'll see that right now i've switched off 
um, the internet connection on the iPhone and you see that even the the little I uh, microphone icon has actually been grayed out because that's not possible and then if you go over to the Samsung you then see uh, that uh, you know we have something that just says you know no connection connect wi-fi or enable mobile data and then try again so that's actually another win uh, for the google you know recorder because this one can actually work you know both online and offline and you want to be able to have that flexibility but once again you can just go ahead and check um, the various app stores there are a lot of different uh, options that are out there uh, but i just thought it would be good to highlight some of the ones that are stock and a really great one which is uh, one from google so in conclusion the technology is really great and i'm really glad to see you know more and more of these speech to text systems you know coming to the fore uh, the technology is nothing new but what i'm glad about is that as more and more people use these things it recognizes more voices more accents more turns of phrase it does get uh, better and better and for now uh, i would say that you know on a you know consumer level uh, the google one is uh, the one that i found uh, works the best i just hope and wish that uh, you know google would actually make uh, this uh, recorder app uh, available to all android devices maybe even um, on the iphone side right now it's still an exclusive uh, for their pixel line of phones but at least um, we can get uh, apks you know for something like that so that's been it for this uh, edition you can let us know are you someone who transcribes a lot um, are you someone who has found themselves having to sit there you know pause play rewind just to type out the correct things or are you one of those people that's found themselves having to you know maybe hire someone who can you know transcribe or have you paid uh, for other apps to do something like this you can let us know in the comments and i'll catch you guys in the next video this is Muffs Too Much and you're watching Mob Justice TV. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter. We're there on YouTube. Thank you for watching our video. Subscribe.